Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. This is Tan here with you. Well, finally, I got two huge traffic fines in a span of 30 days. We'll get to that in detail in a short while. So, stay tuned. So, the first violation was my kid not wearing a seatbelt, and that cost me $570. So, the thing with this traffic violation was that my kid actually did have a seatbelt on for the majority of the time and now just 10 minutes before reaching our home uh, what my daughter said was she felt like vomiting so my wife asked her to remove her belt and uh, just lie down on the back seat uh, till I could find an exit so that she could uh, get out of the car and vomit if she wanted but the unfortunate thing was that just as she removed her belt uh, there was a cop car just behind us uh, and they thought she was just playing around but, but what she was doing was just uh, moving the bags and coat that was behind uh, to the side so that she could just uh, get ready to lie down and uh, yeah so the cops uh, stopped us and uh, with great difficulty i uh, got to the side of the road i found an exit so i could just move out of the traffic so that i don't block the entire traffic we tried explaining to the cops uh, saying that uh, my kid felt like vomiting and that's why we asked her to remove her belt but they weren't ready to uh, listen to our uh, reason. They just go by the books and according to them if you remove the belt it's a fine automatically. So and that's that and um, so then we had given an online petition explaining that um, uh, this is the reason this is what exactly happened we had to remove the belt because we wanted her to lie down as she felt uneasy and the petition was obviously declined. They said, no, uh, if you don't wear a seatbelt, you still uh, have to pay a fine. And the original fine stands. Uh, but actually, as per their code, it was A519. And as per that code, what it means is that multiple people uh, failed to wear their seatbelts, which is actually not true. Uh, it was just my kid who had removed her belt. Me and my wife had our belts on the whole time. So that is also another mistake uh, in the fine. So what I decided was that I'm going to quote for this fine. I'm going to try and explain the situation to the judge and and if we are lucky we might get the decision uh, in our favor and we wouldn't have to pay the fine if if they are empathetic and they understand the situation of course if the judge uh, is not ready to listen to our reasoning and they just go by the books strictly definitely i'll have to pay the 570 dollars plus the 250 dollars uh, for the court fees and all the other extra things so so that would be an extra amount that i would be paying for this uh, for this one fine and now coming to the second fine so the second fine is 609 dollars now let me explain about this fine in detail now the second fine was completely my fault because i tried to cross an yellow light now the traffic light that turned to the right and left but the frequency of its time is actually very less it turns from green to yellow to red very very fast than the regular lights i did not time that uh, properly I thought I had a few seconds left when the yellow light would turn to red at the right turn and this uh, right turn signal was the problem that made me get this fine. So I crossed at the yellow uh, right turn signal but it, it immediately turned from yellow to red and I got caught in that uh, traffic light and that's why uh, I got that fine. So I'm definitely not going to contest that fine. I'm not going to quote for that. I'm going to pay that upright. Within one month, I got two fines and I'll just add it up for you guys. So the total fine is $570 plus $609 plus $250 if I fail the uh, court case. So that's a grand total of $1,429. Now that is equivalent to 80,000 rupees just in fine. So that's that. Uh, so this is something you don't hear uh, from people who drive here in Australia, especially if you are an expat here in this country. Uh, no one has actually spoken about it. Now the fines in Australia are ridiculously high. And so I thought you should be aware of it if you are new to Australia. So this is uh, one of the downsides. Their rules are very strict. Uh, and if you see why the uh, drivers are very disciplined on the road, it is this reason. It is this one reason. Their fines are really very heavy and high. So my advice to you guys is that if you are new to Australia and you've just arrived here and you want to drive your car, uh, make sure that you have a lot of bank balance to pay the fines because you definitely will get a fine here. They are too strict here. And uh, secondly, if you don't want to get the fines, just take the bus because the bus is way cheaper and it's way faster. It's more efficient 
than the bus uh, system in India. You get to places on time, the bus always arrives on time. There's something called uh, Oban buses. They don't use the regular traffic routes. So you reach your destinations on time. So that is one way to save yourself from these uh, ridiculously expensive fines. That's it guys. I hope you guys like this vlog. If you did, please do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, this is Stan signing out. Bye-bye.